All right, welcome everybody back to the Eagle Byte 83 channel where the past never dies. I'm, of course, your host, Eagle Byte. Tonight, we are going to do this, this, no, this, this, uh, which is uh, Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 2. Don't really know what the title of the episode is, but I imagine we will find out. Cheers, and welcome. Ah, all right. Oh no, I'm not signed in. Goodness gracious. Okay, that works. Good. Okay, yeah, so, season two. Let's get on with the show. Uh, yesterday, at the end of season one, we got separated from Nick with an injured Pete... So, we'll see what happens now. I didn't know it was yellow under here. <laughs> yellow. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Pointless. Uh, continue episode two. Yes, let's do that. Alright. So we are waiting for the game to load. Yes, we are. Oh, there we go. Episode 2 is live. Let's go. The Walking Dead. And yes, I will be doing a play by play. Just kidding. Uh, oh, did we run in into that place? Into that van? Yeah, we did. Okay. Well, they shouldn't be able to get through that. On the downside, we can't get through them. All right, just wait. Your bite. Staring ain't polite. Come on out and say it. What are you going to do? Cut it off. I knew it! I fucking knew it! Like, with the visceral, like, stitching of her wound yesterday, of course we're gonna go one step beyond and do the amputation. Of course. Of course. Hand me that there. Okay. <laughs> Are you sure? I got nothing to lose. Other than my piggly wigglies, of course. Alright, let's do it. Ow. Bleed out like a stuck pig. What are you gonna do? Carry me out of here on your back? Hell. Just... Just give me a minute. Alright. Try to get some rest. There's a lot of stuff in here. I'll try to find something to help. Knock him out. And then do it by force. No, just kidding. I mean, it's not for certain that cutting off your limbs, like, when they're infected, manages to stop the transformation. Or the fever. Herschel managed to do it in, in uh, the series, but... I don't know. Uh... <sighs> Yeah, I started a little bit late tonight. Yeah, get some water. <coughs> Anything in that 
Sorry, it's empty. <laughs> oh, okay. So <laughs> damn. I'll keep looking around. Yeah, because there's so much to explore in that cramped little van space. <laughs> oh, Nick. That stupid kid. Well, there's a radio down here. There's also a key. The keys are still in it. Well, worth a shot. Hang on, before we do that, maybe we should try the radio. Oh, it looked really busted now, okay. <laughs> Something here. What's in there? Anything Liquor. We can use. No. Okay. Cigarettes. Give me one of those. <laughs> Probably <laughs> tastes like pine tar by now, but I'd smoke a dead coon's tail if you had one. Got a light? Oh, she did. Okay. Tastes about as bad as it smells. Now what? We wait. All right. Oh, they moved off. Is he a walker now? <gasps> Is she dreaming? She might be dreaming. It's possible. Examine! If I hadn't oh, done this, God. I would have jumped. I Thank feel like ten pounds of shit in a five pound sack. <coughs> <coughs> Jesus. Stuck in this can the whole damn day. You want to hear something funny? <sighs> sure. I've been thinking. And I don't want to die. <coughs> Wait, so now you want to, us to cut off your leg? It's probably too late now. I never thought I'd be the kind of idiot to say something like that. But there it is. All right. I'm scared, Clementine. Jesus, I'm scared. And you're going to be okay. Oh, at least spare me the bedside bullshit. Sorry. Would you... <laughs> would you promise me you'll watch out for Nick? I love that stupid kid. No matter what you think, he is a good boy. He's been playing a tough hand, but he is a good boy. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Been almost a day. They ain't gonna find us. Where are you going? Wait, okay, so f at first you'd think like, oh, he's going to sacrifice himself, but he is going to come back in that if he runs away or something, because there would be no point in having the game telling us Pete will remember this if all that's going to happen is he's going to die now. Like, well, okay, th there's no point in him remembering stuff then, you know? 
So, I don't think he's gonna die now. That would be strange. You're gonna have to make a break for it. I'll buy you some time. Uh, should we try to bring him with us, or should we just say thank you, Pete? No, we want to try... It's illogical. It, it wouldn't be realistic to try and, like, you know, carry him with... But I want to represent, like, her undying spirit. Like, you know, like, come on, we can do it. Yeah, let's... Strike a blow for optimism here. <gasps> oh yeah. Are you coming with me? To do what? Die a couple hours later than now? To say goodbye to Nick. True. All right. That's right. I'll try. Well, like my daddy used to say, <clears throat> we're burning daylight. Now let's get this over. Burning up from fever. <laughs> Pretty soon. Yeah, there you go. Oh my god. This ain't gonna work. Go on now. Find my nephew. Okay, he might die now. But, because now, it is actually okay, we had a choice to make. Now, if we made, maybe we made the wrong choice, so if we'd made the right choice, he would be able to make use of the remembered thing. Now it makes sense, if he dies. But yeah. Okay, what is it with this game and not showing us the deaths? I mean, Kenny, we never saw Kenny die. We never saw that explicitly. And this guy, I don't know if he's dead either. Like, are we just to assume that he died now? I don't, I don't know what I think about that. No, I actually, I do know. I don't like it. If he dies, we should be able to see it. You know? And not just assume. I suppose it's more realistic though if he dies like outside of our visual range but still this is a game you know <laughs> clementine are you all right luke's not with you where's alvin who what happened it's been hours Where wait <laughs> who's alvin do we know who alvin is we know luke nick pete like, Nick and Pete were the ones who were with us. Yeah, okay, okay. Alvin. Is that that uh, dark guy who, who had, like, glasses? I don't know. Where are they? Clem! We got attacked. By who? Walkers. Jesus! We all got split up. I was with Pete, but... Thank God. Where were you? Where were you exactly? All right, By shut screen. up. We gotta go. Just hold on a minute. My husband is still out there! Get the guns! Luke and Alvin went out looking for you. I told them not to go. Damn it, Luke. Clementine, can you, can you please watch Sarah? She's upstairs. Just distract her. And don't tell her anything. All right, fine. She gets nervous. Just go. Hurry. You'll be safe inside. Just don't open the doors for anything. We'll be back soon. <laughs> for anything? Oh, and then Nick or Pete are gonna come back and be like, Open the door! Okay. Whose house is this, even? You know? Say cheese! Oh, shit. Okay. I found this under the house. There was all kinds of old stuff. Yeah, great. 
take one of me. Come on, take one of me. Uh, I don't even know how Polaroids work. Sure. Get me in a good pose, okay? Okay, I'm ready. Take it. Calm. My face hurts. Come on. Are we supposed to do something other than this? Clem. Maybe wait for her to be a little bit more natural, maybe? Or something? Should we tell her what's going on? He did say that she becomes. Um, should we lie? There's an option to lie. Or just wait. I'll just say Ooh, everything. You're He'll be fine. Me. He'll be fine. Are you yeah. sure? Yeah. Well, no. <laughs> we didn't outright lie. That's good. Sorry. I I, I just need to. Hey, Luke's back. What? Oh, did she lie? She lied? And like, is she gonna run now? Or something? Oh, somebody was outside. Is that her? Or... Walk like that. Come on, be a little... Okay. I have no idea who that is. That did not look like anybody we know or that we've seen so far. Then again, I didn't really get a good look, but... That's not Luke. No shit. Clem, I think I know him. He can't see me. You have to make him go away. Who is he? I I don't remember. No. Clem, I can't breathe. I, I can't breathe. Shh. Hello. Uh. Okay. Hello there. Couldn't lock. Who are you? Well, actually, I'm your neighbor. Neighbor? That's right. My family and I are set up a ways down river. I'm kind of surprised we haven't run into each other yet. What's your name? Uh, yeah, what's your name? What's your name? <laughs> My name is George, honey. Uh, everything's moving so fast. Like, I need to think. Should I do that? Yeah, I mean, what's the harm? Famous last words. Pleasure to meet you. You mind if I come in for a bit? Uh, I do mind. Yes, I do mind. This is a nice place. Is there anyone else around? Okay, he's scoping you out, out the place. usually this big out here. We have a big group. Lots. Oh? How big? Dozens. They'll be back soon. And they left you here all alone. Yeah, that doesn't sound realistic. You. Well, I'll cut to the chase. I'm out looking for my people. Seven of them, to be exact. They've been gone a long while, and I'm worried they might have gotten lost. Maybe you've seen them. A couple of farm boys and an old man. A Spanish guy and his daughter. A quiet girl. Bit taller than you. Oh, he's looking Big for black them. guy. Oh, is he like a? Okay, so did he like own them or something? Like, is he a slave owner? This big, 
and a pretty little pregnant lady. That's a lot of people to lose. Tell me about it. This whole damn thing's a pain in the ass. Huh. Can you just leave? We don't want you here. <laughs> well, it looks like a damn tornado ran through here. Must be like close to ten people with you. More. Hmm. Wait, what did she cover up? Just passing through or you've been here a while. I missed that. Hey, listen, kid. I hope you're not one of those nuts headed up north looking for Shangri-La. Where do you live? Been here for a year. Uh, not, that could be a trap. Uh, yeah, let's ask him. Like, we he asked us our name. We're like, "What is your name?" And he's like, "Where do you, uh, like, Why what are you doing? Where do you live?" Where do you live? <laughs> I'm just at, the river there. answering with the same questions. The boat where we pitch camp. Got a few tents up and everything else. Like mm. I said, I'm surprised we haven't run into each other. Do you have a dog? All no, right, I don't. What difference does it make? Just wondering. No, that that's not him. Uh Where does this go? I'll take it. Oh, I'll take it. I mean, okay, to be fair, he could have done stuff to us now because he's the only adult in the house and for all he knows we're like the only one, the only other person in the house, and what is Clementine? She's like eleven or twelve or something. So he could have done something already. I mean, I don't mean to give him the benefit of the doubt. Like maybe he's a nice guy, but he just has that bad aura, and he is most likely. I mean, using deduction, he is that Carver guy uh, that they were talking about. So, they probably don't like him being there. But he hasn't done anything to us yet. He is scoping out the place, definitely. He's trying to find these people who are out looking for for Pete and Nick now. Uh, so, yeah, let's continue this. Let's see where we end up. All right, we don't want him to find Sarah. That's true. Well, this is a real nice place. For some Kinda reason. Cozy. We don't even know why. I knew a guy that always wore shirts like this. Doctor. Oh. Smart, son of a bitch. Okay. But a smart man. What happened to him? Let's just say we had our differences. I think Sooner he recognized. People yeah. close to you will find a reason to cross you. He understands that they're th they live there, probably. Yeah. Well, well. White's in trouble. White's in trouble. Three moves. Uh, Hogan, I shouldn't pause like that when there's the time limit. The choice of the points to make quick choice without chance to overanalyze. Yeah, that. Well, that's the thing. That's why I don't really like that whole timer thing, because, you know, when it is when it is on a timer, I, I like I want to be able to think, and. If they didn't want us to be able to think, they'd remove the whole pause thing together, altogether, you know. Um, but I always want to make sort of like a. I will. I want to reach a consensus, like with myself. Like every major decision, I want to sort of like go over it with myself. So I always pause just to do that. Uh, Away from checkmate. What was that? Not rats. <laughs> no, oh, for fuck's sake. I thought you said nobody's here. No, I disagree. Because here's the thing sometimes it goes too fast. You don't have time to read everything. Like, there's always the three options. And then I have to see what all the options are. And sometimes it just moves too fast. It's like, okay, I don't even have time to read these two. You know, so I, I don't necessarily think that's the case. 
Um, it makes it a lot more. It's probably just the wind. It, in my opinion, it makes it more complicated. Needlessly so, but eh, to each his own. Cheers, by the way. Hey, you don't even live here. Why the hell are you there with a gun? Like, you have no business being here with a gun. Get out of here, you... <laughs> I told you, nobody's here. Seems that way. Yeah, get out of here. Didn't mean to be rude. Well, you kind of are. just leave you here with a good conscience if someone was poking around, right? You are. Yeah. You li literally are. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, like I all, you have to say, do something on the fly, be it right or wrong. Well, that is true. That is true. But IRL, you usually... I mean, it, everything happens in your head. So you know exactly the different choices that you have in your head. Here, we're limited to whatever we have time to read in the options. And... It doesn't really work that way on a natural. So they try to like bring it, bring that sense of urgency to the game, but it also is massively flawed in that way as well. So in that way, I kind of prefer the games where you have the time to think, sort of like Mass Effect. You actually have time to think there. Um, but I mean, these games are fine too, I suppose. Have you played this game before, by the way? Who's this? Oh, we shouldn't have taken the photo. <laughs> Why the hell? Okay. Some kid. I don't know. Jesus. It's a kid? Must be someone who Must lived here? Must be someone who lived here. Must be. You have no idea who these people are, do you? What people? I don't know what you're talking about. Let me ask you this. When you met them, how much did they trust you? Met who? Wait, wait, wait. I can't say met who? Seriously, if I still want to perpetuate the charade of not knowing what he's talking about, I should be able to say met who? I don't know. And right now, did you see the timer? It's almost... It almost ran out, and I have no idea what the choices are. I'm gonna go with the silence. There we go. <laughs> I love that. Well, I think I've troubled you long enough. I can let myself out. Yeah. Get out of here. Don't come back. Wait, who are you? You have a real good day now. I mean, who are you? Okay, that was actually the wrong thing to say, and I just realized that, because he did introduce himself as George, even though that obviously is fake. But for all we know, I mean, he has introduced himself already. I'm George, I'm your neighbor, yada yada yada. I, I guess he tipped his hand a little bit, though, when he said... You have no idea who these people are. You know, like, there is something there, and he's trying to, like, you know, remove the facades that we've set up, both of us, you know, but... I don't know. Uh, we can't t uh, pause time in a moment like that when talking to someone you wouldn't just stand quiet and going over your options. You know what I mean? No, but then again, I mean, it kind of depends. Sometimes you do take a while, like, thinking about stuff. You watch off into the distance, and people might be be like, you okay? You know, like, I, for one, do take some times to answer. I, it, all, it, it depends on the situation, I suppose. Um, and I consider it a fair trade-off, because the game, the whole timer issue is inherently flawed when you don't have time to read the options first you have time to you have to have time to read it i mean when you're talking to someone in real life you don't have to have time to read your options in your head so in that way it's already unrealistic you know 
<laughs> Guns are gonna, yeah, exactly. And cheers again. <laughs> he will remember this. Ooh. All right. Where is he? He's gone. All right, we need to have what some. He comes back. You have some explaining to do. What do you mean? I don't know. I need to know who he is first. Tell me. <laughs> I'm so impatient. We need to find the others. <laughs> we can't go outside. Clementine. Sarah. All right, let's. About Pete. You know where he is, right? Come on, let's go. Oh, we need to have a serious talk here. What? Yeah. What did she say? Yeah. Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. And you just opened the door for him? Calm down, Rebecca. Calm down? Uh, honestly. Calm. You calm down. What was I supposed to do? He had a gun. I told you not yeah. to open the door for anyone. Screw you, you son of a... I hate that guy. I hate him. I hate him so much. He is the new Kenny. I hate him. Because it's like... Yeah, he had a gun. Well, you're not supposed to open. Okay, he could have shot me. You're not supposed to open the door. Well, okay, fine. I'll just, you know, deny a person with a gun pointed at my face. Like, okay, he didn't actually do that, but you know what I mean. Like, we did bring up that he have he had a gun. Some of these characters just rub me the wrong way, you know what I mean? It was like that in Season 1, too, with Kenny. Like, I... I liked him at first, but then he really went on this tirade of just being negative and completely a douchebag, like, through and through. And I was like, oh my god, I hate you so much. Ugh. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I hate this doctor. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name was? He said Maybe George. You know damn well who it was. Yeah, but I think he was lying. What? I thought he said his name was George. George? Yeah. Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? Did uh, he sound different? He had a mustache. Like mine, or more like Alvin's? Um, it was droopy. <laughs> he talked about you, Dad. You're not gonna ask <clears throat> anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. Your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not going to do anything crazy or not nice, right? Okay, there's a lot of things we don't know here people, sweetie, that we need to know. Do or say anything to hurt us. All right, what do you think? Did it seem like he'd be coming back? Oh, yeah. A picture of him. For sure. A picture? What were you doing taking pictures? Carlos. What? You need to calm down. All right, you're scaring your daughter. You told me to distract her. Distract? Sure. <laughs> so I'm just an idiot? Booyah! <laughs> he was scouting. That had the complete opposite effect. I was like <laughs> trying to defend my reasoning here. <laughs> and it's like he he was he was in a accusatory mood and I was like, okay, you told me to do this, and then she's like, wait, what? <laughs> That was awesome. <laughs> we got lucky. He wasn't expecting to find us. Clementine must have surprised him. She hadn't been there. Well, thank you. Well, he was time for a little bit of around, appreciation. But he'll here. be back with the rest. We don't have much time. He's right. Everyone, pack up. We're moving now. Alvin, wait. Uh, excuse me. We have to leave now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. But it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. What does he want? To bring us back. Clem, I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Look, I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. Hey. We have to I don't leave. Mind. I mean, it was going in that direction anyway. We have to find Pete. We'll get him on the way out, Nick. Clementine, you know where he was, right? Yeah. All right. Everybody grab your stuff. Let's hit the road. Hit the road. Hit the road. All right. Let's go. <clears throat> I 
So we still don't know if Pete is dead or not. So maybe we'll see. It was just up here. here. Yeah, just a little ways. Hey, Clem. Trapped in the van. Sorry if I gave you some shit back there. Oh. I'm just a little on edge. Oh. It's just a tough time right now with the pregnancy and all. Interesting. You and Alvin can probably relate. An apology. Why is Carver after you? After me? Oh, you mean us? Yeah. It's a long story. Oh, there was something there. He has a hard time letting go. I know you did your best back there. You know, none of us would make it on our own. Sometimes it's hard knowing just how dependent I am on everyone. I'm not used to that. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Alvin and I still don't know what to call her. Or him if that man gets his wish. God help me. Any ideas? Clem? Lee. Obviously. Um, oh, there's the van. There is the van. And where is Pete? There. That's where we were. Maybe you shouldn't... Okay, fine. No, he did. He's not I, in here. He did exit this the van. The last place I saw him. Maybe he's around here somewhere. All right, we have to remember to watch over Nick. We Keep promised Pete open. that, you know. Stay in sight. So we're sort of locked into having to save Pete now, purely from our promise, you know. If it comes down to a do or die situation again, why do I say do you? or die? Because it's not about do or die. It's about this one dies or this one dies. Uncle oh, sh oh no! Oh, really? There he is. <gasps> He's dead. <clears throat> yeah. He's gone. Oh my god. What happened? What the hell happened? He got he bit. Shot. What? Really? He did he sh have a gun. No. Oh my god. Who did this? Son of a bitch. We need to go. Okay. He's gone. Nick, he, he's gone. We gotta get moving. Come on, man. I want to say on another matter here, I feel like the graphics, they're supposed to be similar, but in some ways they're almost Tell me. slightly better Tell me how here. It happened. Uh, you saved my life, yeah. He saved my life. Well, that was, that was Pete. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Why did we say that? He saved my life? When did he do... Oh, well, okay, yes, he did. When we jumped out of the van, he sort of... Didn't he, like, push us away? And sort of, like, became the distraction that zombies started to munching on? Um, oh, yeah. Okay, so let's focus on the positives here. I'm sorry. Okay, he shouldn't fall back, so can you, I'm like... I'm worried about that kid. Keep an eye on him for me, would you? I've already promised mm -hmm. Pete Sorry, that. you still want to come with us? Look, I know we got off to a rough start, and I can't make any promises it won't get rougher, but we all know you now. We may not be perfect, but we look out for each other. I have to look for Krista. She was headed north, right? Yeah. So are we. Look, you're going to have a better chance of finding her with us than on your own. All right. I figure we got about four or five days to reach those mountains. Now, if they're tracking us, we should be able to lose them up there. Five days? It's gonna be okay, Ben. We have to keep moving now. It's our only choice. <sighs> oh, 
All right. So we're together with this group now. At least we have a group, a group of people now. Five days later. Ooh, look at the bridge. Doesn't look that steady, does it? See anything? She better see something. We've been walking for a damn week. We've got to find some shelter. Okay, I'll look there soon. Hang on. Check the bridge. There's the bridge. And does it look passable? I think so. Good. I mean, you can't really Here, tell when there. you're looking from this but angle. Almost out of food. We gotta save it. There's a little house by the bridge. How big is it? It's pretty small. <laughs> How the hell do you see that from here? I mean, okay. Let's see if we can find anything else down here. I mean, the obvious thing to focus on is that cabin up there or whatever it is. Looks like a lodge of some kind. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything here. Nope, I'm not. Okay. There's a lift or something. Chairlift? Must be that ski resort. Yeah. I've never been skiing. Beck and I went once. It wasn't pretty. There's a building on the mountain. What's it look like? It's big. That sounds like a good place to spend the night. Okay, yeah. I'm just realizing now that from the uh, start menu, that is actually the interior uh, that we're seeing on the start menu. So obviously they're going to make it there, you know? <laughs> we have to cross that bridge. Let's go. Hold on now. We can't all go sprinting across that thing, okay? We get spotted out there, we're going to be trapped. Going around that lake will take too long. Right, but... Look, we've got no idea who's out there. Okay, I'm gonna sneak across, make sure it's clear before we bring the whole group over. You think splitting up the group is a good idea? Ooh, uh, I never said it was a good idea, but it's better than risking everyone at once. Very What's true. Your plan? Clem and I can scoot across low and slow, make sure nobody's waiting for us on the other side. Low we'll and slow. We have a tough time covering from back here. Well, we'll just turn back if it gets hairy. Clementine should stay here. She's... She's what? She's just a little girl, Luke. She's a valuable little girl. I mean, hell, if she can sew up her own arm, she's fit to cross a bridge. I can do it. See? No problem. I mean, I could have said, you're not my dad, Carlos. But I think that would sort of be, give us, like, negative points in our relation with him. You know, or like in our specific, uh, well, you know what I mean. It's gonna be fine. Okay, we'll signal you guys in ten minutes. Just watch for a light at the far side. I can go too. You stay with the group. I'm fine, Luke. I don't like this. Yeah, well, when's the last time you liked anything, Carlos? <laughs> if something happens, I'll cover you. That's good. Come on. Hey, uh, sorry about that. I just could really use your eyes, and right now I don't trust Nick to tie his own shoes. Yeah. They're just still on edge after the Carver thing. It's been five days. Why would Carver still be following us? Yeah, give us the dirt. What's the most important thing in this world? What uh... does everyone want? Even the gangs. You know, what do you think they're all after? Safety? Close. Listen, what's the one thing a guy would walk hundreds of miles to get back? Oh, for fuck's sake. All Family. Right. It's a tough world out there without people you can trust. True. Anyways, you, you can ask Rebecca, okay? I'm, I'm not going to get in the middle of it. We've all made mistakes. Done things that we regret. It's not my place to talk about someone else's past, you know? I know what that's like. Yeah. Uh-oh. 
the dead. Hmm. Can't shoot them. Too much noise. There are only two. Yeah. I don't know. Let's take them. I like your style. Like, why not? If there's only two, I'll take sure. the big one. You get shorty. Wish we could use guns. We should be okay. All right. I think. Got it. I'll take the small one. Good. Let's do it. I mean, accounting for height, that is proper. That is probably the best way of doing things. She wouldn't reach the the big one's head, you know. Are you Are you ready? Okay. There we go. Go ahead. Give it a good pull. It should come free. Okay, back off a little bit. I've done this before, remember? In a shed. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Let go. Yeah, there you go. Nice work, kid. <laughs> Ow. Once more, I have to say the voice actress for Clementine, her voice is just like, ow, I can take them. Okay, let's do this. Come on, like, put some emotion into it. I don't understand why she's so one-dimensional. Oh, it's a railway bridge. Okay. It's almost always railway bridges. That's true. That look like that, with the with the whole metal girder thing. <clears throat> it's pretty far away, though. Shit. Why would there be dead on the bridge? I don't understand. Oh yeah, leave the little girl with the <laughs> with the more the larger amount. And why would there be one there? Jesus. I can't reach. It's okay. Clem, look, we'll figure something out. Behind you. Okay. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. I actually, yeah, I was just gonna say I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> there he goes. Oh shit, the hammer. You think you like managed to push the joystick in the right direction in time, but then you see like, oh, I was a little bit too late, and then like, you know. <laughs> All right, let's do this again. <laughs> I'm okay. I just, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. All right. Um. I can't reach. It's okay. Clem, look, we'll, we'll figure something out. Behind you! Oh, shit. Oh, that was supposed to happen. I thought, okay, all right. Okay, I was supposed to lose the hammer, apparently.
Push her. Fuck her up. There we go. Good. Ooh, that's a very pretty... Oh, shh. I was just gonna say that that's gonna drop. Thanks, Clem. You're welcome. She's like really proud and she's covered with blood. <laughs> Gotta love that. That is a large bridge, though. You see him? Uh oh. Yep. Yeah. He's got a weapon. Just play it cool. And you do the talking. Okay. <laughs> Why me? Because I don't want to get in a fight. And you really think he chewed a little girl? Just what? Just making sudden moves. And don't piss him off. And don't tell him anything. I'd shoot me. Well, that's a hell of a thing to say. I'm just saying. Well, if it comes to that, I'll shoot him first. <clears throat> All right. With what? Oh, yeah, he does have a gun. Okay. Well, who are you? Well, who's asking? I am. Wanna help me out here? I'm Clementine, and this is Luke. Clementine and Luke. Yeah. Huh. You don't look like assholes. <laughs> Are you assholes? Yeah. No offense or Major anything, assholes. But you know how it is out here. You run into a lot of assholes. We're just people. Fair enough. You folks headed north like everyone else? Everyone else? I see at least one group a day move through here. They all look the same. It's like a great migration of the dazed and confused. Have you seen someone named Krista? Krista? Maybe. Really? No, I mean, a lot of people come through here. I don't know. I gotta say, you two look like shit. If you need food, I've got some canned stuff in that station back there. Well, that's uh, awful nice of you. What's the catch? We, we also no catch. should say that we're, well, we have right, a, more people. Thank you. Hey, no problem. Nice running into friendly faces out here. Like I said, I've got food and supplies back in the station. And if you... One. What the fuck, man? What the hell is he doing? What? No, 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 no. He's he's with us. Nick! No! Put it down! Nick! No! Oh well, idiot number one did that. Did I hit him? Where is he? I told you not to shoot. What? Who was that guy? Why didn't you wait for a signal? He was going to help us. How do you know? Damn it, Nick! I told you not to shoot. Okay, uh, excuse me, but this could actually be something that works for the late. Like he's gonna. We're, of course, we we think that this guy was going to help us, and Nick shot him. This paints Nick in a bad light. But what if this guy actually has, like, you know, a camp of bandits waiting, and he was going to bring us to them, and then, like, Nick... You know, what if we chastise him now, and then we lose his support, but it turns out that Nick was right. Like, he was actually... You know, this is this is interesting. This is interesting. How was I supposed to hear you? You gave me a clear shot. That shot rang out for miles. We gotta get off this bridge. Let's yeah, that was a little bit stupid, even if it had been hostile. <laughs> oh, there's somebody on the bridge. Okay, bang. <laughs> you know? Oh yeah. Who 
the fuck was that back there? I don't know. Looked like he had a gun on you. That asshole drew on me. He was about to shoot. He didn't oh, draw he? on you. I'm telling you, man, he drew first. Well, that's not what it looked like to me. Everybody calm down. What did you see, Clem? Was that guy going to shoot? Fuck you, Luke. You've been on my case the whole week. And why do you think that is, Nick? I don't know. It happened so fast. But you were right there. Either yeah, they, way, you yeah, they want, one of us. They want yeah, us to didn't. make a choice, you know. I, I know Pete was close to you, Nick, but you can't don't fucking talk about him. You think he was with Carver? I don't know. I... No, I don't think so. But he fell over. He fell off the damn bridge? We have to keep moving. I can't. I need a minute. Fine. Look, can I talk to you alone? Fuck. Well, we're still neutral with Nick. Hey, Clem, I you got anything to eat? Bex is dying here. Alvin, I told you I'm fine. Sorry, I'm out. Wish we still had those juice boxes. Yeah, me too. That man said he had food in the station. Mind checking it out? Maybe we could spend the night here. A Wait, small for us, though. What the hell? Why are you sending like a twelve-year-old kid to do the? Ju you should check it out. Mind if you what? Okay. <laughs> I get so upset, you know. <laughs> you could use a little downsizing. Yeah. Why do? You, why don't you go look? Why don't you go look? I'm going to sit with Beck here for a minute. Uh, of course. Alvin, I told you I'm fine. I'll be right behind you. Feels like a lot of these people are like really acting a little bit unrealistic, in a way. Uh, Rebecca, yeah, sure. Are you okay? I'm all right. I just need a little rest and some food. Alvin, can I talk to them again? Hey, Clem, you check out that station yet? Not yet. Why don't? Okay. No, I'm sorry. This is actually just wrong. At the least, they they should have sent like Nick or someone to check the station because, Cle look, Clem is just a little girl. Like, this no, it it bugs me. It bugs me. I know Nick is upset now and like distraught or whatever, I but had to kill my mom. Oh Jesus! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds weird when I say it out loud, huh? So you're Carl. Carl! Luke always used to push me. I never wanted to go into business with him. Luke. Okay. I business. remember when he sold me on his big plan. Some fucking plan. Case of beer in, he just said, Nick, we're burning daylight. And that was that. After six months, we were flat broke. I didn't care. We were having fun. What business was that? I wish I was like him. I wish I could just keep moving all the time. I'm just not built like that. Nothing I'm wrong sure with knowing right your the limitations. Got me in danger to the group. <laughs> Who was that guy? I swear. It looked like he was holding you guys up. I figured he was with Carver. He could have been anybody. Right, we don't know. How do we know he wasn't with Carver anyway? If Alvin is in front of me, he takes that shot. What a fucking mess. Maybe I am losing it. I don't know anymore. Nah. God, I'm hungry. What time is it anyway? I'm also getting Damn. hungry, actually. Damn. What's wrong? I left my watch back at the cabin. No, you didn't. Here gave you go. it to me. I found it back at the cabin. Let me grab it. What? Really? Yep. Thank you. <sighs> this means... Thank you, Clem. I mean, it could have been you any watch, but... I'm gonna go talk to them. <laughs> Maybe we should all check out the station together. It just feels so weird that they're leaving, like, this little kid to do this, you know? Alright, let's see. 
Look through the window. Ski resort. Okay. It's dead. Is that a camera? Oh, it's a radio. Okay. I guess he slept here. Oh, that that was that guy. Okay, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> Honestly, what what was the point of that action? Examine and then it it cut it's like a couple of seconds of a different camera angle, and then it's back to steering. <laughs> I will open that, but I feel like I want to... There were other prompts, right? Yeah, okay, there's there's a... Eh. Look at that. We got food! Oh, wait. WM. WM. Okay, take it. Oh, that's gonna be a lead in who he was. Feels Ma pretty good. Maybe somebody is going to be related to that guy, and we're gonna be all like, "Oh shit, Nick killed him," you know? Yeah. Have to remember that. W M. Hey! Thank you. Thank you very much, Anissa, for that 100 bits uh, cheer. Thank you very much. Good to see you again. Love to have you here. And why didn't my alert go off? That's a little bit weird, but okay. Anyway, thank you for uh, joining me. And uh, yeah, you're probably going to go to sleep now, though, because you. You're, you got job. Got job. You got work tomorrow, right? But still, it's nice to see you. It's nice to see you here again. Okay, stop it now. Stop it now. Focus. Focus. Can't it can't go go all like weird out just because some pretty girl is here. <laughs> all right. Let's see. The Wizard's Gambit. Pier Pierce Bellman. Okay food oh you're homesick okay not homesick just homesick okay I gotcha um, by the way people if you're wondering why I constantly keep pausing um, to talk to you it is because I want to try and avoid you know um, drowning out the uh, dialogue I don't want to miss a thing so that's why I keep pausing constantly um, uh, usually, um, you have. Do you have like a, a cold or or something? Well, what's wrong with you? <laughs> and I don't. I mean that is in the not most non-offense offensive way possible. Like, like what's wrong with you? <laughs> um, I hope he gets better soon. Man. I thought we had a bed. Look at this dump. Guess he did have food. Man, fuck Nick. Nick's lost a lot of his people, that's for sure. But that doesn't give him any excuse to start shooting up strangers. Give him a break. His uncle just died. Yeah, yeah true enough. I don't know what I'd do if I lost Beck. I'm just saying. I mean, you ever know anyone to do a thing like that? <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah. What happened? A woman in our group. Her dad died, and then she just shot this other woman. Oh, right! Oh, well, uh... What was her name? I actually don't remember what her name was. Larry... Larry was the, was the dad, right? Who died at the farm. I don't remember the name of the, of the woman. It's lost on me. 
I remember Carly. Carly was the woman that she shot in the face. But, uh... Liana? Lin? Leandros? It's... I think it was something on L as well. Just, like... Just, like, uh, Larry. Was it Larry? I think it was Larry. Alright, never mind. But, yeah. I like these little, like, callbacks to Season 1. Honestly, it's... It's pretty cool. Could be a cold. Could be COVID. No, let's hope not. Have you uh, have you uh, been testing yourself? I hope. Okay. Is this the first day you're you're at home? Or okay, I know you work from home, but like, was the today the first day you were sick? Are you, are you gonna be at home for the rest of the week? I've had a headache for four days. Ah. I'm sorry to hear that. Damn. What'd you do? My friend forgave her. Huh. And then she stole our car and left us. <laughs> yeah, she oh. did. Our RV. That's funny. She looks just like you. <laughs> hey, Clem, there's not a lot of food here, and Rebecca. Yeah, well, yeah, she's yeah. She's eating for two. You think we can keep this just between us? Oh my god, okay. Home since Monday. Okay, okay, I gotcha. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Anissa, but uh, I hope you... You have my sympathies, and uh, I hope you get better soon. Alright? Lots and I lots of sick, warm no, feelings. But, and I never warm thoughts. Group, well, you know, what, you know what I mean. Beck and the baby first. You understand, right? The whole group should decide. I know you're right. It's just so hard right now. It's a shame. Nick was a good guy. He's still a good guy. He's just losing it. God knows we're not perfect. Hell, I'm glad you're with us, Clementine. Sure. All right. The hell is that? Oh shit. Talkers. Yeah, okay. We got a problem here. Yeah, we saw it. All right, we're heading up. Whew. All right, all right. Oh no, are we leading them up to, like... Well, what are we waiting for? To be careful. Careful? We've been on the road for five days. My back is done being careful. And there could be people Doesn't in look there. Like anybody's home. So I mean, I understand the reasoning. Damn. Nailed down tight. Oh, it is boarded up. Okay. That I'll makes it a good front. place, though. I'll go with you. Well, it'd be good to know if anybody's actually back there. Probably get a better view from up top. You'd have an easier time getting up there. You feel like taking a look? It'd be just like climbing a treehouse. Yeah, just a, a really tall treehouse. Well, what am I looking for? Anyone following us. How will we know it's them? We'll know. All right, let's do it then. Maybe should have given her some binoculars or something. Just take it slow, and I'll catch you if you fall. Probably. All right, now's not the time for jokes, you got a good okay? Grip? Yeah. When I was a kid, we used to jump rooftops downtown. Now that was fun. Well, that sounds stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. The trick was not to look down, though. Oh, 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 you're fine. You're fine. Just look at me, okay? You're you're fine. All right, just just slow down. Just for a second, okay? You just told me not to look. Good point. <laughs> like Jesus. <clears throat> All right, I'm up. What do we do? Made it. Ah. Ah. See anything? 
Oh, she does have binoculars. Okay. Uh, let's check. Let's. Oh. Okay. There's only. Okay. Check the bridge. I can see the bridge. Oh, there's a light over there. It's really dark. Wait, I see something. What is it? A light. But wait, there's another. Luke. Luke. Good lord. Flashlights. Looks like. On the other side of the river. Oh, I said. Oh, I thought. <laughs> nice be nice angle camera. That told me nothing, you know. Listen, everyone, just stay calm. Who are you? Are you oh. trying to rob us? Excuse okay. me, honey, but do I look like a fucking thief? Everyone calm down. Hey, man, you calm the fuck down. Sarah, get behind just me. Just tell us who you are. We ain't here to rob nobody. Put the gun down, Fuck man. Fuck that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Please, just do what he says. <gasps> it's Kenny! Isn't that Kenny? Kenny. Wait, you know this guy? Clementine? Wow! Okay, I like this. I love this. I'll take that as a yes. These people with you? We can talk inside. Great. I just started dinner. Huh. They're like, okay. Sure you don't mind. It's gonna storm soon. Please, come in. Okay, I have to. Yeah, that was good. Nice. All right, all right. Cool. Now I want to hear what happened to him. Jesus. Kenny and Sarita have been staying with us for several weeks. Used to be a ski lodge, obviously, so we have plenty of food. And uh, believe it or not, we still get some power from that wind turbine out front. We tend to keep most of the lights off at night to avoid drawing attention. But after we found this stuff in storage, we couldn't resist making an exception. <laughs> What's funny? Oh, nothing, Walt. Walter here's one smart some bitch. Makes a mean can of beans, too. Well, why don't you two catch up while I get some dinner started? Please, make yourselves at home. You can leave your things over there. The hell we will. Yeah, I'm holding on to my rifle. Ugh. Thanks. All right. You're our guests here. There's no need to worry. Tell him to put his gun down, then. Kenny? Will you vouch for these people, Clem? Yeah. If you tell me they're good, then I'm Us. good. You were the one waving a gun around, man. We're cool, okay? Hey, hey, we're cool. We're cool. They're cool. <laughs> They're cool. Although Nick actually reminds me of Kenny a little. Dad, <laughs> look! A Christmas tree! Not now, Sarah. Isn't it great? We found it all in storage. It's amazing. Does he know that Lee died, by the way? Maybe you don't need to put it on the Good. ground though. If Could you put me, it on some kind of table see. or something?
All right, exposition time. Still wearing this dirty old thing, huh? You know, I half expected to see Lee walk up next to you. You guys were like two peas in a pod. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to... It's just hard not to think about it, you know? Wait, does, I, does he know that Lee died? I got him killed. What? It was my fault. Oh, darling, don't say that. I know that ain't true. He made a choice. Same as the rest of us. Lee and I had our differences, that's for sure. But when my son, well, he took care of him. I'll never forget that. So, where'd you end up? <coughs> I was with Krista and Omid. Omid, well, Krista and I were together for a while. These guys caught us. She's gone. I didn't see her die, though. Sounds like it ain't been easy for you. I'm sorry, darling. I wish I could have found you sooner. Krista told me you were dead. I am. This is all a dream. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh... Sorry, bad joke. For some reason, I tried to save that fucking shitbird Ben. Then it turned into a damn cluster. All right, yeah. I couldn't help the kid, but I got out. Long story short, How? I got lucky. Real lucky. Spent a long time alone after that. It, uh... Changed me. And then oh. I met Saria. Thank God. Gosh, it's great to have you back. You two catching up? Clem? This is my girl, Sarita. Ain't she beautiful? Nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, Walt, where's Matthew? <laughs> He's still out there rooting around? Of course he is. Well, I'll start dinner. Carlos, right? Mind if I steal your daughter for a secret mission? <laughs> uh. Stay in sight, sweetie. Okay. Can we do anything to help? Could use a hand outside. We got a lot of supplies to bring in before that storm hits. Sure. Clem, why don't you help Walt with dinner? I'm a little bit unsure what to think of of Kenny. He seems okay, but there's like a lot of looks from him. Like he he seems like there's still something troubling him. Lord knows he was a troubled individual in season one. Um, after his whole family got wiped out, um, he was just a loose cannon, and he was just you know completely out there. I feel like when he met Sarita, it might have like healed him somehow. Like he found the love of love of his life, or like the some kind of a good thing in his life again. You know what I mean? But on the other hand, he did pause when he told Clementine that he'd been alone for a long time. I I honestly felt like he was going to say that changed me, although there's no reason why he would say that, even if it did. Um, but I kind of felt like that was what he was thinking. So, I'm still, like, uh, it's really nice to see Kenny again, even though he was a douchebag in the first season, but um, it's, it's nice to see, like, a familiar face again, you know what I mean? Hey, Clementine. Settling in well enough? Yeah, thanks. Excellent. <clears throat> Want to help me prepare a little dinner? So how do you know Kenny? He and Sarita have been a huge help. Matthew and I barely knew what to do around here the first week. But Kenny, well, he never slows down. We're old friends. I met him after it happened. When he was with Lee? Yeah, he only told us a little. Oh, yeah. Okay. Connecting with people is so important. I don't know what I'd do without Matthew. Gosh, you remind me of my students. I can't imagine what it's like growing up in the middle of all this.
<laughs> Everyone underestimates me. I expect you've used that to your advantage. Sometimes. Smart girl. Hmm. Almost done. Would you do me the honor of tasting the first course, madam? Mm -hmm. Looks, uh, great. <laughs> looks great. It looks like mush. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Mm -mm -mm. As an artist, there's nothing I like less than a friendly... <clears throat> huh. Striking resemblance. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, I'll take I've been told here. that already. <laughs> Alright, so, look around the lodge. Interesting, okay, let's uh, do some exploring. Looks a little like me. <laughs> I thought she was going to say something, you know, like, looks a little like me, or something. Cousin Jared's concert, October 13th, 1998. Alright. Do it, I suppose. Crazy. Lasartronic. I feel like we can make a choice here. Like, turn it on for some music and maybe, like, get a nice mood, but that could also risk, like, bringing the dead to, to us or something. I don't know. Ah, let's risk it. I mean, people can already see the lights from outside, so, you know. I wish they had better music. <laughs> I haven't heard their music yet. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. go in between the tables here. Reminds me of school. Fair point. Talk about massive luck here with Deus Ex Machina that Kenny was with his group. What's this song you're humming? Good King Wenceslas. It's my favorite Christmas song. What's it about? Well, it's about a king that brings food to a poor man. The king and his servant march all night through a cold winter storm to reach the land. The storm is very strong. After a long time, it gets so cold that the servant can't go on. But the king tells the servant to just step in his tracks. Mark my footsteps with my toes. Tread thou in them boldly. Thou shalt find the winter's rose through thy bloodless coldly. I don't get it. <laughs> it means that doing good things for people can be good for you too. But the servant wouldn't have been out there in the first place if the king hadn't made him. True. <laughs> good point. I haven't seen one of these since. All right, well, yeah, we'll talk to them in a moment. I want to explore everything that is not dialogue, the first thing I do. Can I walk up the stairs, maybe? Oh, I think I can. Oh, we can actually speed her up with the right trigger. Okay, that looks so funny, though. <laughs> oh, fireplace. I can feel the warmth, you know? The warmth of a f of a real genuine fireplace, like that, is really nice. And I'm saying this being a city kid, you know, got like water radiators in the uh, apartment and all that. Never had a use for a fireplace. Still, though, whenever I've 
been able to, you know, enjoy a fireplace. It's really nice. You can really, you know, like feel the heat and smell the the wood and all that. It's a special thing. What a funny little guy. I can look at it again. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> okay. Kind of pointless, but okay. Oh, was that? Lone Pine Winter Park Trail Map. Wait, I didn't really catch that. Oh, no, okay. I can look at this again, but I can't look at that again. That doesn't make any sense. What? Look how much room there is here. I can't go in this direction. Okay. <sighs> oh, there's people on the ups. Like, there's people on the uh, balustrade there, so I'm going to... Okay. Cafeteria. Joy okay, where we go? Oh, we can't actually go any further here. Okay. <laughs> she walks so funny when you speed her up. Clem, we could use some help. Hey, Sarah, you take this and string them up over there. You knew Kenny before. It must be incredible to see him again. When I met him, well, he's so different now. But you must be so glad. So, how'd you meet Kenny? I <laughs> found him holed up in an old restaurant, if you can believe it. Hold up? You should have seen his beard then. Perfect. Now we just need the topper. We always had an angel on top of our tree. My family didn't celebrate Christmas, but I still love the decorations. Oh, we have a mission now. Find a tree topper. It's crazy. Why would they follow us this far? You can't be sure. It's been a week, man. We gotta be out of the woods. We can't be sure. They might be tracking us. Tracking? Who do you think they are? Ninjas? Clem, Ninjas. Luke said you saw some people in the valley. Yeah. People? Way down there. How? She's got binoculars, genius. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I saw lights. Which way did they go? Back into the woods. We cannot take any chances. We leave at dawn. But we're safe here for tonight, right? Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? You didn't tell him anything about us, did you? We have to be careful. They could be hiding something. We mostly talked about Kenny. Kenny is the loud man with the beard? Loud yeah, man. that's him. Look, I don't care what that man said. We're staying here tonight. Just talk to the rest of them. They trust you. See what you can find out. I'm gonna go find Luke. Honey, I don't feel so good. Beck, what's wrong? I just need something to drink. You got it. I'll be hmm. right back. Okay. Interesting. Are you okay? Just got a little dizzy. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I mean, how can anyone now? I think it's possible. How do you know? Oh, she is the well, product of that. I'm still here. Yeah. I know it's going to be hard. But at the same time, I already feel a little less lonely. Because I know that no matter what happens, I'll get to meet someone new. She's kicking. You want to listen? Do you know it's a she? That food smells good, huh? Can I? She's going to be a runner. Or a kickboxer. 
It's not his. Ooh. Okay. Whose is it then? If Alvin finds out, he'll kill me. I don't know what to do. Whose is it? Come on. I can't believe I'm asking a little girl for advice. But I guess nothing's weird anymore. I... I wouldn't say anything. There's my man. You all right, baby? I'm fine. You don't oh. <laughs> Just need to get some food in you. Okay. Just uh, a pointer here. They're doing the whole, you know, like... Lori, Shane, Judith thing here now. Again, it's a tried and tested concept, but yeah, just a little bit. I, I noticed that, you know. Thanks for staying with her, Clem. Can you go ask that Walter guy when we're going to eat? I love you, silly bear. Yeah, hang on. I, I haven't called me that. <sighs> oh, yes, I know, but I mean it. <sighs> I love you, too. You get some rest now. Got the star. There needs to be a star on the tree. That's nice, I guess. Beautiful. Uh, I used to love this time of year. You know, now that your friends are here, this place is starting to feel like a real home. Matthew and Walter are amazing people. Honestly, it's dangerous to be this kind, but they can't help it. Wait until you meet Matthew. He's a Wait a minute. Okay, so there might be some there might be a problem here. They don't know Matthew and Walter. I thought they were all the same group. Okay. Okay. That yeah, there's some there's something fishy going on here. The real character. The first time he met me, he called me Rita. So I call him Maddie now. <gasps> oh, Matthew is the guy that Nick shot. Oh, I put it together now. It's It's got to be that. Yeah, Matthew. I didn't it say WM? I don't know. Oh, yeah, Walter, maybe. Okay, never mind. <laughs> what does Matthew look like? Oh, he's a handsome man. A little shorter than Walter. He should be back soon. Clem, I wanted to ask you, does Kenny seem different to you? I didn't know him before, and, well, I'm curious. He has good days and bad days, like everyone else. But lately I get the feeling he's struggling. He does seem different than I remember. In what way? I'm not sure. Well, you three have been busy. Kenny, isn't it great? I got it, hon. I think I can manage, Ken. I said I got it. Hmm. Always has to play the gentleman. But I'll tell you, when I met him, he couldn't lift a fly. Well, everyone, dinner is served. Come on, let's eat. Wait, are we still, like, having problems with Kenny? I mean, come on. Give the guy a break. Why does it always have to be a pro Why does there always have to be a problem with Kenny? Yes, he's had a fucked up life. Yes, he lost everything. But, like, I feel like when he tried to sacrifice... When he tried to save Ben, which he failed to do, but... I mean, it felt like he was, like, really coming back. You know, like, he was... I don't know. And now... I I can't believe we're like taking over we're like over taking over the problems we had in season one. Like that thing is getting shipped over to season two. Now we have to start worrying about Kenny again. Oh. <laughs> same old, same old, you know. All right, I think we should probably sit with Nick. Or, okay, man. Okay, Luke is sitting yeah, with Nick. Yeah, just... I wish I hadn't pulled that trigger. Just yeah. try to forget about it. Right here, Clem. 
Oh, are we gonna be? Oh, we're gonna have to choose. Sit with. Sit with. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. But this doesn't necessarily have to mean anything, you know? But why do they have to make a choice? This is obviously like trying to tell us that, okay, you're gonna have to choose between Kenny and this group or that group. This is high school. Who are you gonna sit with during like lunch? <laughs> Stop it. I mean, obviously, if I sit with the new group, can it's gonna be a little bit awkward, you know? Uh, Kenny's gonna be all like, and and I kind of feel like I want to be there for Kenny if he, I want I want to find out if there's like any problems with Kenny. I also do want to show the new group that I'm not like shunning them, I'm not dissing them or in any way, but. They have to understand a little bit that I have I'd have to want to I'd want to, you know, reconnect with Kenny. And also the fact that he actually you know, sort of like said it before yeah, okay. Let's sit with Kenny and see what happens. Here you go, Clem. So Clem, we were just talking. What's the deal with the kid? And what's his name? Luke? He in charge? Oh, there's gonna be you trust him? conflicts between them, Kenny, probably. Please. Sarita, we don't know these folks. They seem nice. Yeah, well, gators seem nice, too, till they bite your damn arm off. <laughs> I like him. He's a good guy. Would you trust him with your life? I think so. Let's say, out of that whole group, yeah, he's the that one guy, I would trust the most. Al? He said they were on the run. Some people are after them. Well, you don't have to worry about that no more. They'll go tomorrow and you can stay here. Absolutely. Honey, you stay with us as long as you want. She's staying for good. Wait a if minute. that's what she wants. Of course she does. Right, Clem? I can't leave my friends. What? I want to find Krista as well. Can't. They can stay too. No. Honey. Here we go again with Kenny being all like, no, they should go. It's it's the same old Kenny, you know? It's the same old Kenny. Hey there. Hey. <laughs> Hope you like the food. Awkward. Oh, it's, it's great. Thank you. Peaches and beans. Great for nutrition. Not too great on the way out, though, I tell you. <laughs> <sighs> so it's Luke and Nick. Luke and Nick. You guys sure do look like a match. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying you look like good friends, that's all. So, what was your plan here? Hold out for the winter? Actually, we were thinking of moving on. Somewhere up north. You ever heard of a place called Wellington? Wellington? The hell is that? A place. What kind of place? A good one, Einstein. Yeah. Krista and I were going there. Supposed to be a big camp up near Michigan. Michigan? You got a hearing problem, kid? Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Fresh water, lots of land, and cold-ass winter so the walkers get slow. Sounds like bullshit. Listen, Vanilla Ice. I don't know what your deal is, but you're more than welcome to take off in the morning. That'd be just fine by me. What's the deal with these guys, Clem? Hey, fuck you, buddy. It's fine, Nick. We're not staying. She okay, I need to... Uh, now I need to pick a side again. I don't like this. Well, I did sit down with Kenny. But I have to, now I kind of have to show that I trust the other guys too. You know, like I want to have their backs too. I promise you, siding with Nick on this is gonna f send Kenny flying into a rage. He's gonna be all butt hurt and be all like, 
why don't you, oh, so that's how it is, you know, he's gonna be all fucking drama and everything, but I kind of have to, like, put my foot down, I can't just be on his side for all time's sake, you know, and by the way, Lee put his foot down against Kenny, you know, a couple, like, multiple times, so if he could handle it, fucking Clementine can handle it, too, let's go. He's staying. What? Excuse me? You heard me. Kenny, stop. But Luke is my friend. Gentlemen, yeah. please. There's no need for this. Now look, we've all had a long day. Please eat. Yeah. Pass me that can, duck. <gasps> oh shit. Duck? Who's duck? Duck was his son. Oh. Hey, Clementine, would you uh, lend me a hand outside for a moment? No. It's got. Th this math. Th this guy. These guys. Are what. Uh, actually, honestly, I did think that the first. When she was like. When he was. Ta when he was stirring the pot with the beans and all that, and he was talking to her, I felt like he's too nice. Either there's something wrong with him, or he's gonna die first. Uh, I'm sorry about that. There's something with you this know, I guy. I used to be a teacher. And I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two clicks. I suspect they'll find common ground soon enough. It may take a little time, but that's just how these things work. The common ground is gonna be you. They're gonna bond against you. There's something, you know, like, there's something about this guy. Yeah. I'm just saying. Everything will be fine. I'm calling it. I'm calling it. Listen, relationships are like any machine. You don't throw them out when they break down. You get your hands dirty, and you grease the wheels. What do you say? Will you help me work on them? The two of us must unify our factions for the common good. You know, like Churchill and Roosevelt. They say the world is over, but I'll tell you a secret. It's not. People are more political now than they ever were before. In the end, we can't change the world. All we can do is continue to learn from each other, to empathize and use our heads. He says the right things. All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. Steinbeck, have you read him? Well, we have plenty of time to catch you up on your reading. My partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature collection. I think you'll like him. Oh shit. In any case. Oh, that's going to go so sideways. He's going to be like, because he's a nice guy now, I thought there was something wrong with him, but it's probably just simply building up to the fact that we're going to have to tell him that his partner. Okay, so they were in a relationship, maybe. Oh, and he's going to become like the enemy. He's going to flip out and he's going to like, yeah. Okay. There's something that's going to happen. As long as we have at, our at wits at about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? Sure. It's never that easy. What's the matter, Clementine? Is there something you want to tell me? No. <laughs> you can talk to me, Clementine. There's almost nothing you can tell me that would surprise me. I can promise you that. I'm just worried about the people chasing us. You're safe now. Don't worry. Matthew will be back soon. And everything will be fine. Hey, he didn't even... What are you two talking about? He didn't even take notice of what I was saying. You oh, know? politics? The hell? Well, being from Florida, I would imagine you know all about politics, Kenny. Man, I know one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not dealing with that shit no more. Huh. I was just going to check the windows round back before this storm hits. Give us a hand? Sure. We should probably tell... Okay, I don't know. Miss? <gasps> That's her! That's the junkie from episode 6, season 1. Please, do you have any food? Are you okay? I saw the house and... I have a family. We're starving. We live down there. Uh, uh, of course. Why don't you come in, Miss... Bonnie. Walt, I don't know. You're just gonna let her in like that? 
It's fine, Kenny. We don't know this girl. Then we'll have to get to know. Her. Right, Clem? <sighs> Walt. How much damage can this poor woman do? Check her for weapons. Yeah. Thank you. Really, but that storm will be on us soon, and I gotta get back to my family. I'll bring something out to you then. You don't have to do that. No, no, it's fine. What about your people? We've got plenty. You stay put. I'll be right back. I still feel like he's shady in some way. I don't know. I have a little girl like you. How old are you, sweetie? Uh, I'm 11. I would have thought older than that. Okay. Well, so she is 11. Move you more. Here you are, miss. This is too much. That's a lot. I don't know how to thank you. Just help someone else down the line. Thank you so much. I'll be going now. You stay safe. You too. That means that maybe she'll be able to return. She'll come back. Clem, go on inside and get to bed. Walt and I gotta talk for a second. Okay. Uh oh. It's nice to see like all these faces coming together, you know. That's actually pretty cool. All these familiar faces, I mean. Clementine. Don't freak out. Listen, I gotta tell you something. That guy on the bridge was Walter's friend. Yeah, they're partners, probably. I mean, he did say partner. I mean, they're, they're lovers. I knew something was off, partner. so I asked Sarita about their friend. Yeah. Now they're all worried he's not back yet. I know he was, for sure. Damn it. Damn it, Nick. Well. I don't think Walter knows yet, so we have to keep this quiet. I mean, who knows what the hell he'd do if he found out. That's true. Um, so here's the thing. We did something similar in Season 1. If I recall correct, it was about Ben not telling Kenny that he was the cause... He was the traitor at the motel. Now, back then, I had Lee tell Ben that, no, don't say anything because you're going to make things worse. This is actually history repeating itself. This is the exact same problem. Now, I think... I don't know. He, Walter seems to be a genuine nice guy, even though he gives me a little bit of a creepy creepy vibe. Um, but the game is kind of telling me that we have no real reason to distrust him. In fact, he seems to be kinder than you really should be in this post-apocalyptic world. Um, if let's, let's break this down a little bit. Let's analyze this. If we tell him the truth, he's probably going to freak out, and he's going to try to attack Nick or something. He's going to be... I mean, I can't see any way that that would turn out anything but badly. Now, if we keep the truth from him, like Lee told Ben... I mean, back then, it was to prevent Kenny from going off the rails, you know, and be all like, you know. And I stand by that decision, and here, I suppose I feel kind of the same. Um, or is the game throwing us a curveball here? Would it be better to, to tell the truth here? It's it's a similar situation, but it's kind of different. A little bit different. Because Kenny was already a loose cannon. Like, Kenny was aggressive, in a way, even before he started to lose it. Um, and he was also a force to be reckoned with. Walter, it feels like if we tell him the truth, the worst thing... I mean, okay, he could lose it, obviously, but... 
feel like the truth is a little bit more important here. If that makes any sense. I don't even know if it does. I kind of feel, though, that we should tell him the truth. It'll... It's the same reasoning I had back in Season 1 when, when I had uh, Lee tell everybody the, the truth about his past. Like, at least that won't be able to come back to bite us in the ass. I feel like telling the truth... At least now, they're in a fairly stable uh, situation right now. So they could probably, like, handle it. Probably. I don't know. I don't know if the, it's the best thing to do. But also for variety's sakes, like, back in Season 1, we went the way of keep quiet. This time, let's try something different. So, let's try to tell him the truth. We should tell him. He's gonna ask who did it, and you're gonna tell him. It's the right thing to do. It's right to get Nick killed because that's what's gonna happen. Now, do you, uh, you still have that knife? Because oh. if it was Matthews and Walter sees it, he's gonna put two and two together. Okay, but <laughs> he just, like, bulldozed her. Like, she completely overrode her, her reasoning there. Uh, yeah, we do have that knife. It's with the other weapons. Okay, well, go get rid of it. I'll find Walter and run interference. Oh, and, uh, keep an eye out for Nick. I'm right here. What's up? Oh, uh, there's nothing. Man, I just wanted to check and see if no, you're No, okay. he should be prepared for it. In? We have to tell you something. Hey, if there's something going on, I want to know. No, just go back to bed, Nick. I'm serious. You guys can talk to me. Honestly, he needs to know the truth. There's no reason why he should be kept out of this. Especially if we've already gone the line, you know, like, we should tell him the truth. This time we're going to have, like, honesty through and through, okay? It might be the wrong, wrong what, decision, you trust but, me now? you know. I'm going to go for it anyway. See what happens. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Damn it. Hey, Nick, shut the fuck up. I can't, man. I can't. Do not fucking blow it. Blow it? It's over. I have to tell him, Luke. What? No. He's Ben. Okay. Nick, He's like Ben. I do that. Are you fucking nuts? I gotta. I can't live with that on me. Okay, I hear you, but... F I mean, fuck, man. Do you know what he's gonna do? You don't know he'll do anything. Well, are you kidding me? Nick, you shot his friend. You should tell him. Yeah, yeah. Nick, I'm warning you. This is fucking suicide. I mean, okay, I do understand what Luke is saying, and I kind of feel like, okay, we're pushing Nick to do this? That wasn't really my intention. I was thinking, like, we could all, like, bring this to Walter together. Like, not just, like, you should tell him. Yeah, you should go into a room with him, be alone with him, and tell him. That was not my intention. That was not my idea. So, if... I'll live with it. Oh, yeah, if he will live with it. I'm just saying, if he gets killed now, I'm sorry. That was, that was not my intention. You know, I was thinking, like, we can all tell him together. At least that way we'd have, like, more people to so, sort of support Nick and be all like, okay, what's done is done. You know, like try to reason with him and, and, you know, try to defuse the situation as best we could. Now, if Nick gets killed because of my choice here, I'm sorry. I did not mean that. Um, of course, you never mean anything of this, but anything like this, but you know what I mean, like, it's, ah, shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus. I can't handle this. Let's tell them together. Yeah, Glenn, just go do that thing, all right? What thing? Go do that thing. <sighs> oh, 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 okay. <sighs> it's gone. He knows already. He knows. He knows. He knows. 
He knows. He knows. Okay, so if he knows, that changes everything. He has not confronted us. So, this could mean that he's unstable already. I don't know what telling him, honestly, will do in that case. Walter? I always like this knife. Okay, yeah, he's he's lost it. Gave it to Matthew when all this started. I know he's dead. Who did right. it? Was it that, that kid? What's his name? Uh, Nick? Heard him talking earlier, something about shooting a man. You made a mistake. I could see it. I could see it on his face. Wasn't sure then. But now... Okay, I mean, we didn't do anything. Uh, you could interpret that as a lie, but it's also... Like, you could interpret that as, no, we didn't do anything specifically out of, you know, a belligerent heart. You know what I mean? Like, we didn't mean to... <sighs> we might as well tell the truth. <laughs> I've already told Nick to tell it, so, yeah. It was us. It was our fault. Okay. Jesus. I, um... Uh, I don't feel good. Maybe he's gonna kill himself. Nick shot him. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. You could... Th that's not how you, you know, put that forth. You should have said, like, we made a mistake. You shouldn't put it on Nick. I mean, yes, Nick shot him, but that's not the most important thing. You, oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Is, uh, is Nick a good man? Or is yeah. he just like everyone else? He is. He's a good guy, Walter. He was always going out alone. I told him something like this would happen. He wouldn't listen. No, Matt always knew best. What's going on? You need to tell him. He tell him what? What happened on the bridge? Okay, we've really gone the honesty way now. Just tell me, son. Tell me what happened. From a distance, it looked like anyone. I, 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 thought, I thought he was going to shoot my friends, and I, I shot Matthew. It, 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 it happened real fast. I didn't, I didn't know if I hit him, but I did, and I didn't mean to. Do you know what you've done to me? Do you have any idea? I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Walter. Honestly, they made Nick 
didn't look exactly like Kenny did in season one, except for the mustache and everything. But like his clothes. Does anyone know how to do this? The hat. The you know like. Wait. I can do it. Okay, we'll watch your back. Nick, scan the trees with me. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm no, oh. I'm no engineer. Okay. How did you know how to do that? How did you know how to... I'm hearing the dead. From behind, he really looks like Kenny. He does. We don't have much ammunition. We gotta get back to the lodge. Well, then don't just stand there. They're behind us. Shot. Oh, fire. There you go. Well, reload. Yeah, the gun would have probably clicked. Yeah, sure. Uh oh. All right. Feels like we've done a good thing here. I mean, she can probably help protect the place, but yeah. Clementine, are you okay? Uh oh, that's an auto rifle. That's an assault rifle or something. Submachine gun. Yeah, assault rifles. Carver's men. Yep. So we finally found you. Oh, she's with him. Oh, I didn't know that. I did not know that. If I knew that, I'd probably... Where's Rebecca? Carver. Huh. Oh, Rebecca nice might be the too. father. <gasps> The, uh, Sarah. Wait, wait. Carver is probably the father of Rebecca's kid. 
and that's okay I'm putting two and two together here inside it's you keep moving ah but that's a chink in their armor we could actually exploit the fact that we gave her a bunch of stuff like play the guilt card Look at this place. I wonder if she's going to be redeemable or if she, if we're going to have to kill her. If that's the th leave this fucking place, Bonnie. Power and everything. A lot of windows though. It's fucking huge. Bill's going to hate it. Now the rest of them could be anywhere. Okay, go. Man, how the fuck are we gonna cover these guys and look for them too? Johnny, cover that window. I wonder. Oh, and I wonder if if um Oh Oh, wait. My my cogwheels are turning right now. What if that camp that was promised to the guys at the end of episode 6, what if that camp was the same camp that Carver... Wait, does that mean that... Was that Rebecca? That that other lady that, that came to the little camp in episode 6, I wonder? I mean, I, I, remember, I, I said, oh, that's her. That's her from the camp. But I don't know if that if that was her. Like, I I thought that at first, and then I was like, okay, no, that's not her. Doesn't look that like her. But I did mistake her for... I don't know. So maybe... Maybe that guy is with them as well, that... Um, the blonde-haired guy from episode 6... I don't know. Where's Kenny? I wonder. Is he gonna die? Rebecca! Rebecca! Our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. I know you're out there. And Alvin, and Luke, and the girl. This is real simple. You want this over quick. You all play nice. And show your faces. Please. He'll kill him. No, Alvin. We gotta go down there. I can't do that. Beck, the baby. You need a doctor. Here's Luke and Kenny. Let's get out. Okay. So we can There was a there was a choice that we could say he won't kill him, but how do we know that? What's our like how do we know that he's not going to kill him? I don't understand. We're just assuming what is the logical reason? Well, I guess he has Carlos, it's sort of like leverage. I guess guess should we go that route maybe how the hell am i supposed to know they're still outside they can help us he won't kill a doctor he'll do anything that's true okay ah! 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 Clint can sneak out find Lou. what the hell is she gonna do and you heard him 
Carver knows she's with us. Just stop! Don't hurt my dad, please! We're going down there. He'll kill you. Fuck you. Shoot him! Somebody just shoot him! Yeah, why not? Well, go get help. He'll kill him, Beck. He'll do it anyway. You don't know that. Say goodbye, Carlos. Don't look, Susie. Don't look. <laughs> okay, it feels like, yeah, I don't want to take any chances here. Sure. No, I, I feel like we should probably try to save him. Because it feels like we're taking a big risk if, we're, if we don't. And if he kills Carlos right in front of Sarah, that's going to mess her up big time. I feel like, okay... Let's do it. He's gonna kill him. Rebecca, we have to give up. Okay, I just want to point out that it's, it's funny to hear her say, he won't kill a doctor. And that it's like, he's gonna kill him. We, we have to give up, you know? <laughs> Bill, stop! <sighs> ah. You all right? Fuck you, Bill. Oh, you don't want to do this. Please let these people go. Just shut up. Oh. Uh. Pull your fingers back, really. I'll try. Oh, Kenny. Okay. Don't really? move. Watch them. Is he sniping? Oh, it might be Nick. But you ain't leaving me much choice. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna march another one of your friends out here, and I'm gonna put a bullet in the back of their head. Ah! Or you can give up now. Your choice. Oh, they ain't taking no shit. I help him. You motherfucker. Coleman! Bill, no! Tell him to stop! Kenny, stop! You remember George, Alvin? You see, I do. I remember a guy that was your friend named George. I remember when you murdered him in cold blood. And why? Because you didn't like me? You could have lodged a complaint. You could have... Well, you could have been civil. Bill, no! We'll do whatever you want! Protect Alvin? Wait, protect Alvin? It, that amounts to the same as Ken, Kenny Luke stop it. I don't get it. How do we protect Alvin? Protect Alvin? We can't do shit for Alvin. Let's try that. Let's see what happens. I love you, Beck. Bill, please! <laughs> uh oh. Uh. Carver? We can do oh. this all night. Oh, did he switch? Is that what you want? Okay. Wait, so Carver s survived, right? Was that Al? It's only him. Okay. Where's Luke? Finally cut and run, huh? Why am I not surprised? I warned you. I 
warned you not to follow him. Look where he's led you. Went to a war warm cabin, that? yeah. We're going home. Or a warm lodge. As a family. Alright, round him up. We're heading back to camp. Oh, is this the cliffhanger? Oh yeah, he he survived. Okay, gotcha. Okay, that should probably be the end of the episode. I think. Yeah. Okay. Episode two: A house divided. Trophy earned. Reunion. Very nice. Very nice. Let's see how we did. Took the blame for Sarah's photo. You and 51%. percent 51.5% uh, of players blamed someone else. Uh, blamed someone else? What? <gasps> okay, whatever. Who did you sit with at dinner? You and 64.2% of players sat with Kenny. Okay, a little bit of a majority there, but that's not... That's nothing strange, because people would probably relate more to Kenny because we have, like, history with him from Season 1, so, yeah. Told Walter the truth about Matthew. Interesting. 56% of players told Walter the truth. So, more people are, like, intelligent enough to understand that the truth needed to be heard there. Um, oh my god, how superior I, I sounded there. <laughs> but, I mean, it kind of felt like that was how it should have been, you know? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's, that, that doesn't make sense, but never mind. Nick's fate. You and 56.3% of players convinced Walter to forgive Nick. Yeah, I think that... I'm imagining that it was perhaps, like, a little bit hard to navigate there, because there were a couple of points uh, in time there where I got choices that could have screwed me up royally. I mean, when Luke and Nick and Clementine were gathered together there, if... I think if I had said, like, yeah, keep this under wraps to Nick, even if I'd said the things that I said on the balcony there, or on the, on the, out, on the outside, um, outside, the, um, uh, outside the lodge, um, even if I'd said the things I did say, he, it was still screwed it up, I think. Uh, because I think, even if I said, like, Nick is a good guy, I think if I told him earlier to lie... Then Walter would have like been like all over that. He would have been like, "Oh yeah, you're just like everybody else. You're not a good guy." And bam, or like slice or whatever. So yeah, I think that was probably a little bit tricky to um, to uh, reach. But yeah, like I said, if if uh, if you tell the truth here, I don't know why I got the I got the vibe that it was important to tell the truth here, as opposed to season one when I told Ben to keep, you know, his compliance in the traitors, uh, with the traitors' actions, uh, to himself. It was a little bit strange. I didn't, like, I really felt it, you know what I mean? Left to find Kenny. You and 56.1% of players stayed to help Carlos. Yeah, typical good guy's choice. Okay, okay. Convinced Walter to, forget. yeah. Fairly, fairly even across the board there. All right, perfect. A house divided. So that is it for tonight. Um, that is it for episode two, ladies and gentlemen. A house divided. It was a, uh, it was interesting, and of course now we are going to. Is this a bonus thing or? No, this is the next episode, right? 
yeah, I'm not going to risk it. Uh, main menu, okay, there we go. So yeah, um, main menu, oh, okay, I chose the wrong, uh, the wrong option. Anyway, yeah, so that is it for tonight, ladies and gentlemen, that was uh, all she wrote for episode two, season two. It was a good episode. It was a really good episode. Of course, reuniting with Kenny was the major thing here, and it made it all more, like, relatable, if, you, if that makes any sense. It was nice to, like, you know, hook up with him again. Uh, or, not hook up, but you know what I mean. Like, you know, catch up with him again, and, and uh, um, yeah... I'm wondering what Michonne is all about now. Like, The Walking Dead Michonne. So they're actually going to use... Okay, interesting. That's going to be interesting. Um, yeah, so, anyway. Um, it's interesting, though, because... Yeah, oh. Yeah, okay. Um, it's still showing this as the background, even if I, like flip over to the next to other like choices here doesn't matter doesn't matter um, the only thing I want to say uh, or add to this is the fact that we we ended yesterday on a very chaotic note a very like we split up we, we ran away with Pete who died apparently that's too bad I think we could probably have saved Pete um, if we'd told him to stay in the van. Uh, but then again, honestly, his wound was from a walker. And he he was probably on the, same, on the track to the same fate as Lee. So I think he was going to die anyway. Maybe he, he would have lived a little bit longer. I don't know. Um, and yeah, so... Yesterday we split on a chaotic note, and tonight we also split on a chaotic, a chaotic note. Um, but it's interesting, you know. It's very interesting, um, and it's going to be interesting to see what happens tomorrow. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're probably going to be taken to Carver's camp, and we'll see if that blonde guy is there. It's going to be interesting. Yeah. I'm kind of bummed out that we didn't get more of the people from episode 6 in season 1. Because it's only that red-headed uh, junkie woman, and it's uh, also going to be like the blonde-haired guy. I wanted the others, but damn it. Alright, people, that's it for tonight. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you want to, you are very much welcome to join my Discord, which is the official Discord of this channel, and you can reach it here through this link which is join my discord to get the latest news and updates regarding my channel https colon backslash backslash discord dot gd backslash b capital h w z capital b u capital s um, that is of course uh, like I said where you can get the latest news and updates regarding this channel. Now, please be advised, if you do join the Discord, it is highly recommended that you connect your Twitch account with your Discord account in order to get the proper roles. So, that's it. Uh, hope to see you again tomorrow when we will continue in Season 2, Episode 3. Right now, it's off to bed. Take care, guys. Mind social distance. And always remember to keep the retro legacy alive. This is Eagle Byte 83 wishing you the best. Take care, good night, and goodbye.